Hey everybody, welcome back. This is another TTM video. And if you're new to the channel, we like to get autographs TTM or through the mail just by sending your favorite athlete or celebrity a card or photograph through the mail asking for their autograph. You'll be surprised how many times you can get a return. When we do, we come to YouTube, share the information that way. If you see your favorite athlete or celebrity, maybe you can get their autograph too. We've got six today, including a photograph. So we're just going to get right into it. First one is coming from Fresno, California. Thanks, Jim M. Looks like he signed my note. Yep. And it's a uh, 80-year-old right-handed pitcher. Whoops, I dropped it. From Fresno, California. He plays for 12 seasons. 60 to 71, mostly for the Cincinnati Reds. As you see here, it's Jim Baloney. And there were so many uh, great, great pitchers in the 1960s in Major League Baseball that um, this guy kind of gets lost in the shuffle. But he could throw as hard as any of them, including Koufax and Gibson and Seaver. And I think he was once clocked at 99 miles per hour. Back then, that was really hard. And uh, probably pitching his way to a potential, potential Hall of Fame ballot himself, just like Koufax and Gibson and Seaver, until arm trouble cropped up and, uh, you know, medical treatment in the late 60s and 70s wasn't anywhere near where it is today. And in a few seasons with a bum arm, he just uh, kind of petered out over time. But he was good while he was lasted. He was 134 and 84. And he had 1,600 Ks and 1,800 innings, 200 strikeouts for four consecutive seasons. And he won 20 games on two occasions, two no-hitters. Um, and two no-hitters he had to come out because he was injured. But they were in the sixth or seventh inning when he came out. So just a dominant pitcher when he was on and when he was healthy. And you talk to any batter in the 1960s, they're going to mention Maloney's fastball as being just overwhelming. He's in the Reds Hall of Fame, 10 days, and there is a $5 fee for Jim Maloney. He's 80 years old, 10 days. Next one back is coming from Seattle, Washington. And that is Norm Evans. He is a Christian, and you're going to get his Christian tract. This is the first time I've received some from him. Several different languages. He's signed the back there. I don't think there's one in English. Nope. All right. Thank you, Mr. Evans, for that. Michael, Steps to Peace with God, Norm Evans. He signed that one. And this is in English. All right. This is a 77-year-old, former offensive tackle, 14 seasons. 65 to 78, mostly as you see here on these two cards for the Miami Dolphins. Nice. Sign those in black, uh, not ballpoint, but uh, a thin Sharpie or thin permanent. Two times in the Pro Bowl, three times in the Super Bowl, including winning two of them, Super Bowl 7 and 8 for those Miami Dolphins, including... The undefeated team, 17-0. But he was also a member of the original Miami Dolphins. And the expansion team in 66, Norm Evans was on that team. So he is a firmly committed Christian and usually writes a Bible verse on his um, cards or encloses these Christian tracts. Of course, I'm a Christian myself, so um, not bragging on me, but I'm bragging on Jesus and what he's done for me, so... That's all I'll say about that. If you want to talk about that ever, hit me up down below, leave a comment, or shoot me an email. I'd love to talk to you about my faith in Jesus Christ. So, moving right along. Number three, Columbus, Ohio. Got a couple out to Columbus. Put a piece of cardboard in there. Did not put it enclose the hard card, but put a piece of cardboard in. So... That was kind of neat. Jim Lachey, three of three in black Sharpie. All right. 
Another offensive lineman, offensive tackle, Norm Evans. I'll put you right beside Norm. Two great offensive tackles in NFL history. Jim Lachey and Norm Evans. That's on that 91 pinnacle. He is uh, 56 years old. He was in the league for 10 years from 85 to 95. Started with the Chargers for a couple of years. And um, then moved on for the Redskins for seven or eight. Played collegiately at the Ohio State University, where he was an All-American there, and now he's currently doing the radio broadcast for their football games. Uh, maybe in the fall we'll start up again, you'll hear his voice on the radio. But uh, lives just outside of Columbus. Great player, three times in the Pro Bowl. Two times, or well, he just won one Super Bowl, 26. Quick return, eight days, no fee for three-time Pro Bowler Jim Lachey. Next one's coming from Portland, Oregon. No hard card in this one either, which is fine. But it is pitcher Trevor Wilson, one. I think I overloaded him because he's such a good signer. He's dating him too. Trevor Wilson, 2020. Trying to become the next uh, Bill Lee, perhaps. Earth 2020. Five of five for Trevor Wilson. Appreciate that. I usually don't send five, but he is an excellent signer and doesn't seem to mind signing three, four, five, or even six cards. Showed here fielding in this card. Here with the nice mustache, the late 80s mustache, which we uh, are all guilty of, perhaps. He's 53 years old. He was a starting pitcher for eight years from 88 to 98. Took off a couple years, went to the minor leagues. Uh, played 40, 41 and 46 overall. And after his playing days, he served as a pitching coach in semi-pro in the minor leagues, and he may still be a pitching coach somewhere. Put these in the back. Got to get the 89 Fleer, right? Loved 89 Fleer set. So um, fun fact about Trevor Wilson is he... Struck out the side on nine pitches in 1992. And they're calling that an immaculate inning. And 93 different pitchers have, have now done it. But when he did it in 1992, he was just the 27th pitcher to do it. And uh, I guess that's further proof that strikeout totals are up in the past, <laughs> past few years. And uh, you may see this even more frequently now that the guys are swinging from their heels and um, nobody really cares about them striking out. But he was the 27th pitcher to do it. Nine pitches, nine strikes, three outs. An immaculate inning. Got that back in 11 days. No fee, Trevor Wilson. He's been quicker since the uh, virus broke out. He used to take 40 or 50 days for a return. Next one's coming from Shreve Point, Louisiana. Shreve Port, Louisiana. All right, Hall of Famer, Johnny Robinson. Great player. 81 years old now. He was a safety, as you see, for the 12 seasons, 1960 to 1971, for the Dallas Texans, who turned into the Kansas City Chiefs. Played in the AFL and NFL. Uh, national champion in college at LSU in 1958, and then became a Super Bowl champ at Super Bowl IV with the Chiefs. And, of course, prior to the Super Bowl, he and the Chiefs were three-time AFL champions. So... That's um, not too bad. Six times AFL All-Star, which is the AFL's version of the Pro Bowl. And then he became a one-time Pro Bowler once they moved into the NFL and they merged. But he's on the all-time AFL team. He's got 57 career interceptions. And he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2019. Ten days, quick return, but it's a, there is a $5 charge for the Hall of Famer. Johnny Robinson. All right, last one coming from also Columbus, Ohio. Put an extra tape on there. Sometimes this, this um, envelope of mine doesn't stick very well, so I'm glad he put an extra piece of tape there. Also with cardboard. Oh, yeah, Buster Douglas. Nice. Now, is that a 5 by 7 photograph, I believe, along with the custom card that I had done on um, TTM Autographs Galore? 
The administrator made those cards. I don't know if he's still making those or not, but this is 60-year-old former heavyweight champion of the world, James Buster Douglas, when he pulled the, one of the biggest upsets in sports history. Technical knockout of that man right there, Mike Tyson in 1990. Tyson was undefeated, was one of the most feared boxers in history, 42 to 1 underdog. And he was a champ for about eight months, eventually losing to Evander Holifield. This is to Michael, all the best. James Buster Douglas, love and peace, and a little smiley face. Very cool. Very cool. And then this card is a custom. It should have just a plain back to Michael. Yeah, plain back. Nice. 18 days, no fee, James Buster Douglas. Now, he wasn't just a boxer. He was a great athlete. In fact, he led his high school to the state championship in the Columbus area when he was a high school senior, then got a scholarship and played in junior college and was set to sign um, for Division I school out of junior college, and he decided, well, I need to go back and start boxing. So took up boxing. His dad was a professional boxer. And, of course, it paid off, and I think his son is now a professional boxer. 18 days, no fee, James Buster Douglas. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscription rectangle right there, and then you can hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified of all my future videos. To all my new subscribers, uh, welcome. This is what we do a lot. We, get, we send out autograph requests, and then when they come back in, we do videos and show them off, share addresses. I'll share any information you have. Put a comment down below. I'll let you know. Shoot me an email if you need to. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks. We'll see you soon.